guys, we're back with our Friday craft. I'm gonna start out with this Rust-Oleum milk paint and Eclipse and this salt wash, and I'm gonna mix it together. Um, I put a, I think an equal part, um, because I want to cover this mirror uh, a good a good coating. It's already black, but I don't want it to be that shiny black. I want it to be a matte black, so it looks more like iron. So I'm mixing up enough so that I can um, give it a couple of coats and cover it really well. So here I'm just mixing it up. Um, I recommend that you let it sit for a little bit because it actually does thicken as it sits. So if you kind of want to see where you're going to be at, you want to let it sit for at least 10 minutes. Just see how much it thickens up so that that way you can um, add more paint to it if you need to or add more salt wash to it if you need to. Um, I opted to cover uh, and paint over the mirror because it's just easier and I didn't want to have to um, find another piece to put in there. So, um, and this uh, salt wash paint makes sure covers it really well so I didn't have to worry about any kind of streaking once I got a lot of the coat on there once I get this all covered and put two or three coats on it I went over it with the dark and decrepit uh, patina and it's uh, kind of like a gel type medium and I just did a coat all over the mirror I didn't uh, really worry about wiping it off when it came to the outer part but once I got into the center of of it I then just took my rag and kind of dabbed it off it just uh, seemed to kind of blend it a little bit better and this is just kind of giving it a little bit more depth once I covered it all with that I grabbed my decrepit dust and I gave it a little um, sprinkle and I used my um, dark and decrepit um, and kind of kept my brush wet and then dipped it in the decrepit dust and put it on the mirror that way it can I didn't have to worry about it drying out and stuff like that so once I got that all sprinkled around and where I liked it I grabbed my DIY paint in the marquee and the fire starter and this black uh, acrylic paint and I mixed it all together until I was happy and um, started kind of pouncing that around what I'm trying to go for here is a look of rust I unfortunately did not have any kind of rust paint or tech you know any kind of like specialized paint to look so I had to kind of mix my own and uh, go from there so as I was kind of painting this on I took my decrepit dust and kind of layered it this is all about layering I want to get some kind of like really great crusty rusty um, texture on there so then I went back with just fire starter and I just put a little on the stick and I just kind of highlighted because if you look at rust it has like some really bright orange uh, spots on there and so I was just kind of putting that on there just to um, give it that more um, layered um, and a depth of uh, different colors going on so I kind of went around and went back and forth between the fire starter uh, just that and then the mixture that I made earlier and uh, I went and layered until I was happy so once I got that um, all finished up um, I went back with my mixture that I had before of the Eclipse and the salt wash and I just kind of took that back a little bit and this is again gonna add another layer of um, texture another uh, you know and it's kind of gonna take that rust a little bit back so once I was happy with that I grabbed my dark and decrepit and I watered it down just a smidge and I went over everything and this kind of just blended everything together so that I you know, I kind of took everything back and blended it all together so it looked like it had been together forever. So um, then I grabbed basically the dirty water that I was rinsing my brushes out in and literally used the dirty water to go over that again. And that just kind of like married everything together. It just made it look like it had been sitting there in the rain and the rain just kind of washed it all together. And um, 
did some really great it did a really great job of just kind of taking everything down but making it kind of look like it all kind of blended out together and um, but it kept the texture which I really loved it kept that texture of that so here's the finish uh, product of that and then I wanted to do something in the center so I went on the search for something and I grabbed these um, transfers that I had I kind of went through and was picking and choosing but this is the one I settled on and I got this one from Amazon and I'll link it in my description and here I'm just kind of um, going through and uh, measuring it and stuff and before I put this transfer on I did spray it with a matte clear coat and let it dry so um, and then here I'm just I centered it got it placed where I wanted to uh, have it and I put it on there and this is it and I hope you all like it thanks for watching Thank you.